Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is calculate a weighted mean. A common example of a weighted mean would be your GPA, grade point average. And so I put example here on the board, a problem. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, first off, uh, let me tell you the classes. The classes are psych, math biology and tennis. I did take a tennis course a long, 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 long time ago. Uh, I thought it was going to be easy, but it was really difficult. So just because it says tennis doesn't mean it's going to be easy. So psychology doesn't have a lab, so it's just three credit hours. You have math, biology, typically there are four credit hours. They might be three. Uh, sometimes biology is four, just because it also includes a lab. And then tennis, because it's an elective. And sometimes electives are two or three, maybe even one. So this is a typical GPA. A's are worth four points. B's are worth three points. C's are worth two. D's are worth one. And F's are worth zero. So assign each letter a point, and those what, that's what the points are. Now to calculate a weighted mean, the formula is a summation of the weights times the values, and you just add each one, divided by the total weight. So here, my total weight would be all these add together. So 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13. Now, so to calculate, you multiply this times this, this times this, this times this, this times this, and then you add all those up and divide it by the total weight. So it's 3 times 3 plus so it's the weight times the grade, and then you have the weight times the points. Then you have, for biology, the same thing, four times two. So it's the weight times the value. And then same thing with tennis, the weight times the value, and the weight would be, well, the weight is two, because it's the credits and the points would be four. And then you take that, divide it by the total weight, which is 13. So type that on your handy dandy calculator. I'm gonna type in all at once, and when I type in the calculator, I'm gonna put parentheses around the numerator. I'm using a scientific calculator. Because I want this 13, I want this summation divided by 13. So that would be 3 times 3 plus 4 times 4 plus 4 times 2 plus 2 times 4 close parentheses and then divide by 13. And so I get for my GPA or this person's GPA I'm going to round it to two decimal places, and it turns out to be approximately 3.15, and that's it.